So along with helicopters, the military, stalkers and mutants, there are other ways that the zone can harm you, and these are the anomalies. Look at the screen, notice how it shimmers? We aren't certain that that area is safe, so we're going to throw a bolt in there to check it out, and that triggers the anomaly. Anomalies are invisible pockets of energy that can harm you. Some are gravitational and will throw you hundreds of feet into the air, others will draw you in and literally crush you to death. Now remember, Stalker is an unscripted game, so the other creatures are also affected by the anomalies. Here we can see a rival Stalker trapped in an anomaly. He's being raised up and slowly crushed to death. So obviously it pays to watch your step. Here we can see a very obvious anomaly to the left, but that's distracted us, so we don't watch where we're going and we end up getting burnt by an acidic anomaly. Now we look at the vehicles. There are six vehicles in Stalker. Four cars, such as this one. There's a truck. And there's also an armoured personnel carrier. These can be used in combat to run over opponents. And in the truck and cars, you can also fire whilst driving. But you're limited to a handgun. However, the APC has a machine gun that you can use. Now, all the vehicles in Stalker are in a pretty poor state. They need fuel, they need maintenance, and they'll eventually break down. So you won't be able to just hop into an APC and drive around the zone. In this final section, we look at the DirectX 9 renderer. Stalker has a feature complete DX9 renderer and it's full of effects. Volumetric heat haze, soft shadows, multiple light sources, retina blur, light blooming. I could quote jargon all day long, but just look at the footage, it's absolutely stunning. Light sources can be altered, the stalker headlamps for example, or these strip lights. As the light source moves, so do the shadows, and it's all happening real time. Now this is a complex scene being rendered very quickly by the X-ray engine. Now here we can see the bloodsucker that we've seen in an earlier presentation. Now he pops up in DX9, he's still the same character, he's still trying to kill you, he still turns invisible, but when he reappears he's much more detailed. And check out the shadows he's casting on that back wall. Now Stalker is obviously a game designed for the hardcore PC market. The kind of gamers who are going to spend all of their time upgrading their system with new graphics cards, new processors and what have you, will love Stalker. Pushes their hardware and it shows exactly what the PC can do. It's a real reward for the hardcore PC gamer.